hello welcome to my channel so in this video we'll create spring boot rest api with postgres sql so here our use case is we are building one spring boot rest microservice that is student service so in this student service we are performing all the CRUD operations like create a student and update a student. One student will create, will update the student based on the student ID. And after that, we'll read the student based on the ID and we'll uh, get all the student information using get all students. After that, we'll uh, delete student by ID and uh, one more API will creating uh, delete all students so these are the operations we are going to perform with this student service so if you see here database we are using postgresql database from client we are using postman from postman we are performing all these operations the data will persist into the postgres sql so this is our today's use case and we'll start implementation for this use case so first we'll create spring boot application from star.spring.io so so here I'm using Spring Boot version 3.3.0. I'm giving the group ID like AJTEX and artifact name I'm giving student. So this is the student service using this. We are performing all this CRUD operations. So this is the package name form.ajtech.student and Java version I'm using 17. Now here is the important one. What are the dependencies we required to work with? Postgres SQL you through Spring Boot Data JPK. Okay, so here first we need Spring Web, and another one is to work with Postgres SQL. We need Postgres SQL driver. Then also we need JPA. After that we need Flyway migration here. So why? Because to maintaining the version control for your database so in this case we are keeping our uh, sql files into our uh, project and this automatically pick that uh, files and it will run okay so we'll see that one also for that one we need this flyway migration and finally we need to add log box okay so these are the dependencies we are using and after that you can generate this project and you can and it will download it into in your files okay so now we'll import this project into intellij id first so now project is imported into intellij id now if you see in our form.xml file we have data jpa and web flyway core flyway database plus postgres equal and postgres sql lombok okay these are the dependencies i'm having in this form.xml file now what are the changes we required to do as per this uh, postgres sql i'll explain you here so first we need to set the properties for your database so if you observe my application the properties here i'm using this project name is student and here class path in the class path i am creating db underscore migration is one folder i have created if you see resources db slash migration so here i am created one folder like create underscore table dot sql so here i am trying to creating the student table in the postgres sql so if the student table is not available automatically it will pick this file and it will create once you start this application 
so for that one here is the student schema i'm creating if the student schema is available it will load create if not there it will create the new student so schema then here is my username and here is my password here is the server port which port number you want to run you can specify that one next come to the repository so repository we are using student repository same extends jpa repository and we need to pass entity class so in the entity class we have id first name last name age okay so coming to the service what are the functionalities we are performing with this so one is for save students using that it will save one student in record into the database once it is saved then we are performing update student based on the student id we are doing the performance first we'll call to the database based on the find by id it will fetch the student record if the student record is not available then it will throw the exception like it will return the student not found okay and if a student is available i am setting this uh, first name last name and yes i am updating this one so this is updating the student after that i am performing deleting the student based on the id i am performing the delete operation it is single student and here i am doing all the students available on the particular table i am deleting all the students okay so these are the operations i am going to performing as per this card operations and come to the controllers so what are the api name i am using api slash student this is the api endpoints here one is for create students when you call this post mapping automatically it will uh, trigger this one can navigate to that uh, request to this create student and it will execute this logic and it will uh, insert one entry into that database and after that we are going to the updating student here our endpoint is api slash student slash student id whatever the id is created using this create student that id you need to pass to update the student id one student is updated with this api after that we are using the delete student with the id and the delete all students okay this is all about crud operations we are doing but if you see in the resources i am creating this create underscore table this is table is not exist in the database it will create the new table okay this is important so if you want to use this one we need to add the plugin in the form.xml file that is flyweight db this uh, dependencies are required okay so another one is postgresql dependency can be added now we'll try to test this service so we need to start i think we need to change this database configuration as per your postgresql database this is the change we need to do so if, if you are dealing with multiple database then you can create the separate configuration folder and configuration file to load all the configurations properties as per your database usage okay so here now we'll go to the postman now first time i'm adding to the student api students i'm inserting data like hari kumar 25 and i'm performing the post operation we need insert this one so this id is created to automatically this is auto incremented i am defined you can create one more user Taj, Taj Kumar. so if you hit this one now id is incremented by three so now th these records are inserting into the postgres sql database so you need to install postgres sql database in your system first if you want to know how to install the postgres sql in your system it I uploaded one video on this you can just go through the video you will get the better idea how to install PostgreSQL and your database the video you can just go through this video once how to install PostgreSQL 15 and Windows so you will get better idea on this so once I inserted two records now I will perform the get all students if you see this is the get API I am not passing any ID when I perform this get automatically it will give the list of student id1 id2 id3 so if you want to take only the particular student uh, items in this case we need to pass this by the item for example i am gi giving id as 3 so it will give only the student id3 okay so if you want to update this one you can create one 
put API for this. So how to create? Just you can go to this API and duplicate it. And here you can specify instead of post, you can change to put and student ID. We need to give the student ID as three. And now we'll change this first name related to King last name. So if you are putting some data, first name and last name, you can insert. See now ID is three, it is updating. So if you see previous get all students information, that time it was having the Raj Kumar. Now it is updating to so that that ID is update updated now. This one that ID is updated to this. So that data is so while using this put mapping data is updating to this one. Okay. based on the id what we are passing here is the id we are passing if you see in our case use case here so how to updating this one this is the update student i am passing integer along with the student details okay so with this student id it will go into identify student id with this three then it is updating first name last name and is also okay like this it will update okay now if you want to delete student now you can go to the delete and here you can specify the student id is equal to one and hit this now student is deleted because i am not returning anything it is returning one if you want to see go to the all students and here you can perform the get now if you see student id and the two and student id is three is there but student id one is not there because our student is deleted with this id one so if you want to delete all the student just you can remove this one you can just keep api slash students and hit this one then all the students will delete come to that get api and click this one now there is no this is empty there is no students are available into the students table so like this we need to perform the crud operation in the postgres sql database okay so main thing is we need to update properties file as for your database configurations so then only you can do all these operations properly i'll share you this code base with you in the description I have created detailed documentation for this one if you come to my medium page this is the spring boot with the uh, postgresql so here i have created all the step by step operations with postgresql what are the steps we need to perform one by one i mentioned everything in the medium block i'll share you this link also in the description you can go through that and try to execute in your system so you will get better hands-on experience on this okay thank you thanks for watching this content is helpful for you please like share comment and subscribe my channel